Yo, yeah, what's going on everybody? Ryan here and welcome to Season 2 of the Minecraft SMP. As you can see we're in a very flat land and in the top we have a map. We have this lovely little spawn going on here. We did do an intro with Max where he took us a nice long walk around here but uh, yeah, too long for me. So as you can see there's some small plots on the server. I'm gonna back off from those guys. Some small plots and stuff on the server. We're gonna have a market over here. As you can see, there's a few bugs that I've fixed with the server. I just need to do a server reset. But we're gonna wait for a while to do that. As you see, you got your wilderness, you got the cathedral, which has like an enchantment table in it. And if you come on up here, we've gone with the uh, more old school version style of Minecraft. We're gonna have these as our warp portals. This one, I believe, is gonna be shop. And then this one is going to be um, wilderness, I think. And then here we were thinking of making this like the shopping area where you can buy commands or, you know, buy really important items. We're going to add a currency into the game or something. Right now there's literally nothing in them. Um, as you can see, obviously, I've got some stuff. I started playing on the server a bit earlier. Shout out to Max for getting this, uh, this spawn set for us and everything. Much appreciated. It, uh, Looks very good. Bit weird on the map as you can see. Some of the corners were a bit glitched, but we had to set it near the spawn. The spawn is right out here. Max's lovely little torch job out here, and people are getting killed by magic. So as you can see, this season is going to be pretty crazy. We've got four people online right now. Uh, we're going to run over here, collect some wood. As you can see, my crafting table's out here from when I was last out here. Um, we have got this plug-in in. Boom. We do have MCMMO in this season, uh, we were talking about adding it in last season, never got around to it, but uh, we are there now and I have added MCMMO in. Uh, we also did change our server host, that's why I'm able to do mods and plugins, we're not using MC Pro hosting anymore, we are using uh, Apex hosting I believe it is. Which honestly I prefer, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. As you can see I've already got all this stuff in my inventory and this was because over that direction I believe somewhere there was like a uh, mob spawner underground and it had all of this stuff in it which was pretty insane like just gave me some legendary stuff but uh, before we get into this I want to look through these books because I've never actually played Attack of the B Team myself so we got materials and you and world domination with open blocks let's do the materials and you first achievement learning to tinker uh, tables of contents getting started and recipes. What is it next? Welcome, the first edition of Materials and You. Surviving the first day and beyond within these pages will find you the first steps of making tools and materials you will need to survive. A blank pattern, a stencil table, part crafted, pattern chest, tool forges, drying rack, slime. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in this. There's barricades. That one clearly is a lot. Let's see what's in World Domination. 54 pages. Credits. Welcome blocks, items, and misc. Blocks, we got elevators, we got sprinklers, we got paint mixers, radios, bear traps, vacuum hoppers, don't know what they are. Tanks, pathways, block breakers, fans. All of these guys, all of these, and I have no idea how to use them. We are not going to lose these two books right here because we are going to definitely need them. Uh, I did want to go through a lot of the mods, it's Fallen Leaf, but uh, unfortunately you know there is a lot of mods to go over. If you come into here and I uh, go through it, as you can see there's 119, this is just the regular Minecraft stuff with some custom blocks, obviously you got spawners and stuff, but lock chests, uh, what else we got? got loads of new redstone stuff that's going to be here. This is all regular Minecraft pretty much, but if you come down here to Mine Factory, got all these planters and item collectors and just stuff that, you know, everyone's seen in other things that, you know, I've never played with, not a lot of people have played with. The suffocating in walls, I have no idea how. Uh, looks like we got a berry bush, what is this? Berry tree. Oh, it's a raspberry bush. I'm gonna take some of these. 
take some needs for myself. So I need a couple of those just to plant up my house, grow some raspberries. Uh, there's been some cool biomes around. I've set my home at spawn for now. Obviously we can use the map to uh, find our way back. What is this? Dirty war, I think. We're in the biomes of plenty mod right now, so as you can see there's loads of new biomes and stuff that we're going to definitely be running into. Uh, we're just going to do some exploring for the first episode basically because uh, I don't really know what is in this mod pack to be honest. I haven't had a look, haven't been able to flick through a lot of it. I basically got on the server, got it running for everyone that got off myself. So. Uh, you see it's already becoming night time. I do need to add things like single player sleep in. But unfortunately this is a 1.6.4 version of Minecraft so the only plugins I can add are ones that are for that version. I'm not using parkour without you know, a sprint key. Because you could not actually have a sprint key in this version. So uh, I'm going to look for a mod or something to add into that because uh, I'm not enjoying not having a sprint key at all. Double tapping W to run around places. Uh, so we're basically going to skip through the night here now and uh, I'm going to do some exploring see if I find anything worth sharing. Apparently yeah, witches have been a big problem this season with a lot of witches spawning apparently but uh, pretty sure that's part of the mod pack so nothing will be changed about that. Oh, oh, okay. I don't really want to mess with them because I'm not set up for that. So we're going to do some exploring, guys, and we will uh, be back in a gif when we find anything worth noting or looking at. So, guys, we were just swimming along over here. As you see, people are getting murdered in the chat. Um, but. Over here there is this, and I'm not even sure what it is to be honest. But we're gonna run up and see. It looks like a man. Oh, oh it's got mob spawner underneath. Mm. Let's just break that. I know we have silk dutch spawners on this season, but I don't want to be dealing with that right now. Oh, yeah, as you can see, there is a. Morphing in this season, so yeah, as you can see. Oh no, as you can see, I have a few people's morphs, but because name tags or health bars are on, everybody's going to be getting morphs for the same creatures. So I'm definitely going to have to turn that off later. Until then, I'm going to have to try not to kill any creatures because I don't want to be dealing with having ten of different morphs of the same thing so I won't be messing with that. Oh we've ran across what looks like a tavern a little house. Hello is anybody home? The front door looks awfully crowded. Oh look at that nice upgrade for us. I thought I was going to do something. I heard a pressure plate and did not like that. We're just going to keep exploring because... Whoa. Oh my god. I don't think I have vein mine on yet. I don't, but... Okay, oh, but what is this? Ferris ore. Lapis. Redstone. Ore. Redstone. I heard bats. I want to find a bat. Silver ore? Can I mine this? I can. Let's take the silver ore and uh, I don't know what's better, silver or iron. I don't know how well you guys can see right now. Unfortunately, I do not have torches, so I can't really do that. But it looks like silver ore is like the new iron. It's pretty much everywhere. Let's get some redstone. Grab some lapis. What is this? Copper. We can mine that with this as well. Looks like a lot of it can be mined with an iron pick, which is nice. Beautiful. And I'm not sure how MCMMO is going to work with all of the new 
stuff that is in because of the mod pack, but we wanted it in. Whoa, 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 what are you? I want your, I want your morph. Die. I am it. Why am that thing's morph? Don't I have flying? What is it? Am I just a really cool morph now? That's weird. What's this? Qu Quantum ore? Take some of that. That sounds like very important stuff. Jesus. Is there an animal that has night vision? I would like that. I'm seeing fossil. Can't see what's coming out, but. Biofossils and relics. What the hell is this mod pack? I have no idea what's going on in this mod pack, to be honest. I've done no research. This is my very first time logging on actually properly playing. Let's get on up and out of here. Uh oh, what are you guys? Oh, I want all of your morphs. Thank you. I want to be a squad, or. Are you aggressive? I might be getting destroyed. He just dropped me a... Oh, he just dropped me a... A shovel. Thank you, dude. Just gave me a shovel. I'm gonna piggy one. I'm gonna get all the morphs this season, guys. Pikachu. In case I wanna be a Pikachu. People are messaging me. I wanna be this thing. What am I right now? I'm the really tall Enderman. I don't know what he's on about. That's pretty cool. I'm really tall right now. Okay, one step up. I can't even step up blocks while I'm this tall. At least I can see things a little bit better, which is nice. Let's uh, keep on exploring real quick, guys, and we'll be right back. What the hell? Okay, guys, so as you can see... I have no idea what's going on here. I've been exploring... We've just got a rooster. Sure. Can you fly? I don't think you can. This parachute ability, that's it. But as you can see, there's a, a house up there and a massive dome above it. I kind of want to get up there and it is becoming night time. I've explored quite a few biomes now. We've got that cool biome there as well. But, um,. I don't want to know what's up here, to be honest. Like, I actually have no clue. So, what we're going to do. Where's the front door? Right underneath the crafting table. Perfect. What we're going to do is craft some stickies. Craft some more of those. Craft some more sticks. And we're just going to go crazy with the sticks. We butchered that a little bit, but how many do you think I need to get up there? I think that should be enough. Let's get to climbing. Let's see what's up here. I don't know if it's going to be anything special or if this is just a massive waste of material, but if we get up here, at least we can go further up and explore whatever that thing in the sky is. This is literally above the clouds, this house. I think we might actually have like just the right amount to get here. Oh. I haven't got a sword. I would love a sword. Give me a second, I'm just chilling out on the outside of your house, trying to uh, make a sword to murder you with. Thank you for your... Uh, Cooperation. It's a coven witch. She's making no sounds whatsoever. She dropped sugar. She's got some bread. What is this? A witch's hand. We'll take that because I have no idea what it is. Looks like there was literally nothing up here and there was no point in coming up other than to get a skin, basically. And we lost our crafting table. So, just because we are here and I don't have an axe. 
I'm a witch right now, aren't I? I can tell because my hand isn't showing up. It is very frustrating. We're going to go up to this dome thing. I'm just going to use all the blocks I have to tower on up here, and I know this is going to make it look terrible, but I want to get up here and know what's up here because uh, I've never seen these before, so I know I've got some more blocks somewhere. I'm hoping I can mine through this with a uh, iron pickaxe. How high up is this thing? Oh, I hear like slimes. Let's get to the center. Blue slimes. Oh, okay, calm down. They are literally called blue slimes. Ah, you guys are strong. I might die. No, no, no. Use the trees. Use the trees. Use the trees. Use the trees. I know, I don't know what size can hurt me or not, or anything, but I'm just going to keep hitting blue slime. I don't know what it's good for, but get off. Die, come on. It's not giving me any, like, hitting effects. What's hitting me? This one. I'm too big. Okay, you're dead now. Can you guys die? Die. Die. Thank you. Alright, let's switch back to ourselves. Do not, like not having the punching effects and stuff. So, doesn't look like there's anything really special. Coagulated blue slime. It's a weird blocks. White stone. Yeah, I don't know what they're for. Hopefully they're not important. But we got blue coagulated slime. I have no idea what that's for. Oh wait, what was that? A charged jump? Okay, that's pretty cool. What's up here? This looks like a block. What is this a cloud? I'm running at 20 frames right now, I don't know why. 21 frames. Uh oh. Am I falling? I feel like I'm falling. Okay, let's just crouch or uh, Alright, we're gonna change into the rooster who has a falling ability. We're just gonna go for it. Oh no, yeah, see? Glad I did. Oh, we're going to use this to float as far as we can. My frames have gone up. I don't know why they were down so low. Um, we're just going to float. There's a little another cavern, cavern there. I'm <laughs> literally floating rooster right now. So, we're going to float around and try and find some more cool things just to explore. There's another cool biome coming up, it looks like. We're just uh, traveling the biomes right now, finding out what's around here. It's basically going to be what this first episode is, so, uh, yeah, hope you're uh, ready to stick around. Alright, so we found, like, a nice little area to build up here. We've got to collect, obviously, some of the starting Minecraft materials, because we don't have any of them yet. Apparently, Tree Fella doesn't work on this, so... Just the mine it manually, which is going to be horrible, because I broke it wrong already. Great. I just want to kill a mushroom for that morph. Hi. There we go. We now have that morph. Let's go back to... Go back to human. Third being a human. Alright, let's head on up here. I want to get a... Starting-ish base. Crag rock. Why does it sound like it should be mined with a shovel? Well, I guess this doesn't pass for MC in the world. In a little area, we'll build a little starter shack just to begin with. Like so, let's get some wood out. We're gonna need to place these down as well. Get you guys going. See ourselves a chest going at least. This is becoming a hassle to organize material. 
And let's just inventory dump everything for now. And then all the guys, because I don't even have like my steak and stuff in my inventory anymore. Take these out. Take my steak. Place it with those, I guess. And I guess we'll keep the bread on us as well. And put the bread away. And I did see, right before we start the house, obviously, I saw a little cave area back here. Just wanted to go for a little mine. Let's see if we can. Oh my god, it's pitch black. It looks like it's just a big loop. Oh, I must not have seen this. Okay, well, that was it. That's our nice little loop cave. Um, let's get started on a little, little house. I really don't care about the size of it for now, because obviously we're going to be changing. That's a bit small, but that's what we have for now, we'll go with it. It's going to be a tiny little shack. Six point four building seems to be a bit glitchy. Oh, I'm going out of wood. We're gonna have to get some more quickly. I think there's loads of trees around here. Can't use that again for 14 seconds, that's why. There we go. Head on up here. Let's get some wood. Got the wood. And then the rest we can just turn into this. Perfect. We need loads of wood. We're gonna uh, build this little shack and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I did so much mining that I actually have like completely full inventory now. I dodged that attack somehow. Uh, I'm now this guy, but as you can see I've got like a completely full, uh, almost completely full inventory. Got a donation station, we got some creeper heads, rubies, silver, lead, aluminium. Tin, ferrous, iron, some sapphires, we have some rubies, and I don't even know what I can do with all this. So, what we're going to do is just deposit all of these kinds of resources into one chest so we can spend some time figuring out all of them. Whilst we are in here, take all of the ores out. That looks like all the ores. Throw all the ores in one chest. Then we're going to have a little exploration on what we can actually make with this kind of stuff. Because, um, personally, I've never seen it before. Three pads can just go in there as well. The rest of this stuff is just random stuff. I do want to know what that donation station's for. That's pretty cool. And we did get a load of regular diamonds, but uh, I don't know how good diamond is in this pack. Oh god. Stop it. Stop burning. Love an item. Donate to the owner. Okay. Who knows? What is going on? Okay. Go. I do need to make a door because I can hear more things running up on me. Let's craft ourselves a door. Just throw that down for now. Now it gives us a chance to go through and do some crafting with these new things like uh, sapphires they seem like the most oh I guess there's two different kinds of sapphires is there a way I can like 
see what I'm gonna do with these. Sort into columns. Oh, that's nice. But I don't know how to test what I can build with these. Let me do some research, guys, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I had to de opt myself because every time I clicked it, it kept giving me the items. But it looks like we can craft ourselves a ruby sword just by simply coming in here and then filling in the blanks. And there we have a ruby sword. Does more damage than iron. I'm guessing it's the same crafting recipes for pickaxe. Yep. Yeah. Make yourself an axe and a shovel. Why not? Axe and a shovel, and we can get rid of all this stuff. Um, the only way I know how to do it is by typing in at the bottom per i dot. Yeah, it looks like you make these tools as well. Seems like Ruby is one of the best though, which is nice. Got a load of rubies, it's what we had the most of. Uh, you can also make sapphire tools. Uh, Quantum dust I didn't figure out how to use, but uh, it looks like I don't know, it looks like diamonds isn't the best thing anymore, guys. So don't be surprised if you see a bunch of people on the server just running around with diamond armor, because I think that's what I'm gonna do, is just make some diamond armor. I've got enough to make a helmet as well, which is nice. Look at that. It's episode one and we are running around in full diamond already which is pretty insane to be honest. Uh, I do want to hang these oh, I forgot I put a door up didn't I? Hang these up, creeper skulls look at that guys we're getting geared up already um, Galactic Craft Tinker's Construct that is what I wanted to look at today guys I want to get into some Tinker's Construct and I'm not sure how it works I know I believe you need a seared tank. Seared brick. Grout. Gravel, sand, and clay. Okay, so. Hmm. I think it's construct stuff. That's gonna be a bit weird. We're gonna have to research on uh, how to get some of this stuff, because I have no idea how to get grout. Liquid redstone furnace, smelting. There's a few ways to get, is there different ways to get grout? Shapeless crafting, oh okay. Oh I see. So it looks like we have to collect a bunch of gravel, sand and clay then guys. Don't know what all this is. Molten. Oh. Do I hope I didn't just give myself that. If I did I'll throw it out but yeah we got Looks so like we've got some research to do here on the Tinker's Construct, because there's loads to it as you can see. I wouldn't mind getting myself like a backpack and stuff as well. Loads of tools that I'm going to want to craft. Just insane amount of stuff guys. So we're going to do some quick research on some Tinker's Construct and obviously go collect a crap ton of sand, gravel and clay. You can see some clay there already. Let's test out how fast is this. Okay, it looks like it's the same speed as a diamond pick or a diamond shovel. Uh, we're gonna have to get some clay, get some gravel, and uh, we'll be right back once we've got all that stuff, guys. Looks like we've got quite a bit here. Okay, sand, clay, gravel, grout. Oh, damn, we get a lot. I'm out of clay, though. And then from here, I believe the next step is you get your coal. You can do one piece because I don't want to ruin this. You do this. And guys, I didn't do any Googling for this. Actually, there's a Tinker's Construct book. I started watching a video, then he said, just use the book. Seared bricks. Perfect. And uh, yeah, basically, if you flick through it, where was I? Apparently, it didn't see where he was. Yeah. So, next step is to make grout, which we've done, and then you smelt it, it gives you seared bricks, seared bricks make this stuff, and then I need to make a smelt or a controller as well, 
And then, if you ever find yourself with this book, you need a simple one of the books. Okay. Oh, mighty smelting. Oh, okay, so I have to make books. Materials for you, V1. We need a piece of paper and a blank. How do I make the blanks again? Sticks and blanks. Let's have a look. Go like that, and then go like that, and that gives us this bad boy, a blank pattern, and what was it, this plus this, world domination, materials and you, materials and you, oh, oh you just put it in there by yourself, look okay. what is this for me now? tools, materials, and modifiers. To make a pickaxe, you're going to need a pickaxe head, tool rod, and a tool binding. Shovel, mattock, long sword, battle sign, excavator, hammer, material things. So I can make it out of stone, I can make it out of iron, you can cactus swords, bone, obsidian, nevrak, a slime one. Oh, it's got all the tool durability. Paper I can make paper tools. Yeah, I don't think they would be very good. Cobalt. What well, looks like it's going to be the best so far. 3,000 on this one. I've not even got any of that yet. Copper. I have quite a bit of copper, I believe. Copper's not very good, to be honest. So, we won't make any copper tools. Whoa, what's this? Extra 500 durability. If I had a diamond. Okay, this is good to know. So, so far, the best one. The slime was up there for some reason. We could make a slime rod. Bone, no way. So, what one's the best? How do you find that? Obsidian? No. Oh, is this how many you can break with it? I'm not even sure. Ah, uh, you might an uncommon Manali. Mining speed. Is it 8.0? Four base hearts. I have no idea. That's how you make those slime crystals. What is that? Slimy mud. I don't have any slime balls, I don't think. I only have the coloured ones. So it looks like I'm going to build cobalt. Oh, first of all, let's see what we have. We've got copper. Aluminium. That's not that one. Oh, that's... Well, I guess they can all be used then. Uh, I guess we're going to be making a copper one because that's all we have. But first of all, let's work on this. We need to get this up and running. So we need, I believe, one of these. That's the controller. And one of these. What's this? Mighty smelting. Let's have a little read through this book. Introducing casting construction. You will need the following materials. A smeltery controller. We have one of those. Nine seared box. We don't have that yet. Any combination of ten seared. Okay. I haven't got a four set or a casting table or a seared tank yet. So let's... Where are those at? Let's figure that out right now. Um, okay. A seared tank. I need glass surrounded by that so after we're going to, have to smelt some of you that rain is very annoying then we're going to need I don't know if we need the seared glass seared window this is going to be a bit awkward because we have to keep flicking through oh there it was smart root control yes seared tank okay yes I don't know, one faucet. Let's look at faucets. Where is that? I don't honestly go up there. Oh, we can make that right now. 
Alright, grab two more out of here. No, don't read the book. We got a faucet. So we got the faucet, we got the smelter controller, seared bricks. We need to smelt a piece of glass because it is annoying me. Let's go with one piece of glass quickly. Let's get this out of the way and then let's get more grout back in there. I need to make a little hop so I can just smell everything real quick. And let's get the grout back in there. And then that will give us that. We're going to go ahead and get all of this stuff right here. And then we'll be back. Alright guys, while I waited for all the grout to smell up, I did uh, do a bit more reading through this book. And as you can see, it looks like this is how it's got to be designed right here. I believe I made the right thing, I'm hoping I made the right thing, but what it looks like is we got a dig to start with, a 3x3 three three hole, like so, and fill it in with seared brick. This is going to be a very slow process because I want to copy it exactly. Uh, and then this one here, this one here, and then controller here. So. Seared tank controller, I believe it's seared tank controller, and then the drain is here, just like that, and then we needed one like that. It's gonna drain out into here, into here. I'm not sure if that's right. Let's have a look at the book. Looks like I've got everything. I just need to fill this in. And then figure out what powers are these. I don't think I've got enough. I do not. I need three more. We should have more grout still smelting. I thought I had enough. I didn't really do a count. Was oh no, we're gonna be short. Oh, I gotta go find more clay. There should be some more down in that river still. Let's go grab some more clay, make some more grout because we need two more. And then it looks like it's done. I don't know if this is gonna leak out the sides because it's gonna have liquid in it, but you know, hopefully not. Let's uh, let's go get that last pieces of clay. Is there a certain way you have to power this? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Let's go get some of that clay. Okay, so we've crafted those up. Let's... That's that finished. What's the next step to this? Um, how is it made up of metals? Blah, 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 blah. Ah, oh, okay, so that's how you make each one. Cobalt, alumite is aluminium, iron, and obsidian. Um. Liquid, tin, gravel. Looks like that's it. Looks like it has power, but do I put let's let's see. Let's follow some of those recipes quickly. Let's see what we can make. Um here it is. So let's get some bronze, copper, and tin. Or to make bronze, it's made from copper and tin, okay. Three copper, one tin. Uh, I guess we don't Okay, three copper, one tin. Let's just throw that in and see what happens for now. I'm gonna see if it does like anything. Three copper, one tin. Does it need? Does it need a power? I don't know what it needs. I'm going to have to do some googling before I can figure this out. One sec, guys. Okay, so I went and got lava. 
As you can see, there's some lava in there now, and uh, the blocks have appeared. As you can see, they're smelting up now. We've got a lot of mobs coming to kill us. Apparently, I did build it right uh, in my vi in the video I watched. The guy built it too high, uh, but I only wanted to do one because I don't have a lot of materials right now. The high level, high. Oh. I need that bat morph. Oh my god, there's a creeper. Thanks for. Oh, that's him. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, he's gonna start pranks. I found my house already. But, uh, yeah, I messed up and made a bunch of extra stuff because apparently. Well, you don't need this stuff. I don't know if I can even break this right now. I shouldn't. Okay, it doesn't kill you. Is this smelted yet? The copper's smelting now. And then what? How do I. I need to go through these templates. An iron casting. Um. I'm going to keep watching the video on what to do. Alright, so after a very short break, I'm trying to- oh, nice hat, give me that. Thank you. Uh, after a little break, I'm figuring out how to do this. Oh, don't do that. You need to go away. Can you get out of my only thing I care about, please? You're lagging. Alright, so after that, it turns out that I have been doing the wrong stuff. Apparently you need to use gold for smeltery. So what we can do is just... I should be able to, yeah. I'm just going to cast all of my bronze out into blocks. Until... And then I've got to get some gold. And then we've got to start smelting some gold. I won't even mine some gold. I don't have a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, 23 gold. It isn't a lot, but... I'll kill that thing with a punch. But let this settle. I should be able to take that, click that. Block of block bronze. I'm not sure how I turn it back into this. As you can see, I did get a little bit of blood in there by accident. Uh, figure out how to get that out later. I got another creep head. I'm just going to make a, my house out of creep heads. Apparently, that's uh, what's going on here. So let's just keep casting these right now. Let's empty this out. Let's. I don't know how to empty out the blood, maybe break it, but get the blood out of there as well. And then let's molt some gold into it, and then we should be able to make some casts. Uh, somebody said, once I empty this, I'm going to add another one of the the controllers, not the controllers, the, what are these ones? These smeltery drains in, just so I can run both the casting table and the... Uh, bucket at the same time in case I need to ever empty anything. And of course I need to light up this area a bit more. How many of these have we got left? Uh, oh, looks like we are out of blocks. Is that going to set? I guess it won't. I don't want to really drain the blood so I'm just going to break it. Looks like the blood stays in. Can I drain the blood out on top? I guess not. Like so. Place that. Don't place that. We need to place a casting table. Now let's smelt some gold and we should be able to make these plates, I guess. Is the blood, blood still in there? How do you drain blood? I don't know. Maybe it'll pour it into the table for us. Uh, first thing we're going to make is one of the tool rod cast. I'm hoping it's made out of a stick. It looks similar or maybe that's the tough rod but I'm not even too sure guys. We're just gonna have to kind of wing it on this. It doesn't really in these books tell you how to craft these stuff. That's it. Am I just stupid? That's the recipes for that. Not in that one. This is the other tinker's construct. Nope. 
Let's go through this. Not that. Just told you tool rod, axe head, and shovel head. I'm not even too sure how to make these axe heads and stuff, so. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you how to make any of this stuff. Basically, you're going to be Googling all that, I guess. Let's pick this back up. As you can see, I've almost broke my ruby pickaxe already. This should almost be done. Find another layer of gold right after that. Beauty. I know this is going to waste it, but... I need that reset. Can I cast the blood out? I guess not. Okay. But, yeah, let's cast this. Why is that not working now? Is it because... Oh, okay, so you can actually organize it. Cast a blank. I guess I got this now, we can see what we can do with a blank cast. If I combine these, maybe? Well, looks like we're going to go do some more research on how the hell to make these work. We'll be right back. Okay, I think we finally figured it out this time. After making a bunch of other stuff, like the part builder, the pattern chest, the stencil table, Basically, you can put, I already made the wooden sword blade, the large plate template, you add that in, make two of those. What else do we need? What other patterns do we need? Come over here. We need to make a sensor first. So, to make one of those, go like this, one of those. And then we need to read the book to figure out what, I have two of these now. I don't know how. Uh, where is it? My sword that I'm trying to build. Cleaver. Tough rods. So we need to find, make a tough rod blueprint. Strike you in there. Find the tough rod. Is that it? How do I make a tough rod stencil? Oh, tough rod pattern right there. And we do this for you in there. I'm not even sure. Make two of them, I guess. Okay, and now let's read this book again. And I should just memorize this. So, two tough rods, a sword blade, and a large plate. So, we need the one of these. But I believe I'm gonna put the scrapping table out here because I want a chest out here as well now. This is gonna be for all our plates. Can you go away? I'm trying to work out here, okay. Let's cast one of these. Why is this not casting? Oh, it is, okay. Thank god. Then we need to cast these two after, so I've got that. Give me that back. Cast. No. No. Okay. Cast the tough rod. Got one of those, we'll cast the tough rod one. Let's settle. Take those back. Cast this. Let's settle. Perfect. We have all of the casts we should need for that. Okay, so we need to now put the blocks of bronze back in here, and they do smelt back down. Perfect. Let them smelt back down. And we need to make two of these, one of these, and one of these, and we should be able to make ourselves a cleaver. We have to make a little nighttime workstation out here, and uh, get loads more lava and extend this because. Uh, this clearly isn't going to work with this little amount of material. We are going to need a lot more. I might, I'm going to quickly just, while we do that, move this stuff right back on outside. There's no point in having it in here. We're going to make a little work area outside. I feel like this season is going to have to be 
an outside season just because there is too much to fit into one area it just doesn't make sense so you got I don't know how to lay this out properly I'm gonna have to make a proper work area but part builder that attaches to that stencil table to make the stencils and we got a chest for storage put all those in no these have to go in the pan one here so that connects to that put you back in there to make outlines bronze should almost be done now there's We'll move the bronze down, we'll cast this, and we'll make ourselves a bronze tool. Sorry for the screaming kids in the back, holy. This should almost be ready. I wonder if I can cast anything out of blood, that'd be interesting. Okay, now that that's done, move the bronze to the bottom. Get kill this guy who has another weird hat. Cast two of these. Two. And we need one of these and one of these. So we'll take both of those out. Cast one of these. Take both of those out. Cast one of these. Then we should be able to make this thing. I'm not even sure what orientation to put it into the crafting table. If I have the correct crafting table, yet yeah, that. Knowing my luck, I probably don't. So, we have all of this stuff, let's find, where's the cleavers, we're just gonna scroll through, cleaver here, bronze cleaver, what do I craft it in? Oh no, yeah it doesn't make sense, how would it fit into a crafting table? There must be a tinker's crafting table, okay. More googling. Make another block of iron, like so. Do this, 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 do this. Gives me a tool forge. Okay. Let's bring the tool forge outside. We'll place it there, tool forge stands out. Oh, okay, then I just click what I need. Oh, this will make it so much easier for knowing what I need to craft. So, I just... Boom, boom. Boom, please just work for me. I have the wrong blade. I have a small blade and not a cleaver blade. <sighs> <God. laughs> Alright, let's make another stencil. We now know how to do this, which is... The only good thing. And then we need to come to the stencil table, put it in there, find the cleaver blade, which I believe would be this one. Just have a little flick through because I don't want to be casting random stuff. Knife, yeah, that's knife. There's the cleaver, large blade pattern. Let's come here, let's switch to gold, let's cast that, wait, I'm missing a step, oh yeah, here, yeah. build that, put you in there, cast that, that will give us the template, switch back to molten bronze, Cast the molten bronze, that will give us the actual thing. Like uh, so. How much is this using? Holy crap. We've run out of bronze here. This cleaver better be worth it. I just wanted to test out this building. I don't even know if I need these anymore, to be honest. Let's spare. These are gonna be the layout. For this way, I'm trying to stay organized because it seems to be a lot to this mod pack. And there we go, a reinforced one cleaver. That is our first Tinker's Construct mm, tool. Oh, I wanted to see it in my hand, not as a creeper. Switch back with the morph mod right here. And there you go, we have got ourselves a cleaver. 
Uh, unfortunately, there's no mobs to test it on, but we're going to definitely expand this off camera and make it higher. So this can take more smelting. I don't know what I need to add in for that. Probably another seared tank. Get a bunch of lava. No. Does that mean I can just create casts for cleavers? Okay, I'm gonna test that. If I can just create a cast for it. No, okay. I thought that would be a little cheap, but I guess not. There's our first little piece of Tinker's contract, and that was hell. So that's where we're gonna end this episode. Thank you all for coming out and watching. Have a wonderful and safe day. Peace.